is Thursday, December 15th, opening my Advents. Today's wine is a Merlot. Cute. These bottles are the cutest part. This is my scrappy Advent from with Ash. Let's see what I got in there. It's a nice green. That'll fit the vibe I'm going for well. And then my stitch marker. Let's see what's coming. So cute. <clears throat> oh, good one. Just a snowflake. It's beautiful. I like the simple ones a lot. Those are my favorite. I'm gonna throw this in my bag and go to work. So, hi friends. I just pulled into Sonic. I ran home to get um, sandwich stuff. I bought like peanut butter and jelly and bread for work and um, forgot to bring it to the office. So I ran home to grab that at lunch and decided I wanted a Fountain Diet Coke. Um, so I just pulled up to Sonic. I opened my app to order my uh, large Diet Coke with vanilla, which amazing. And it's 99 cent mozzarella stick day. So I also got a four pack of mozzarella sticks as an appetizer to my peanut butter and jelly. Um, I had such a weird day yesterday. I'm just like still trying to bounce back from it. Um, whoop. Oh, not me. <laughs> um, but I'm doing okay. I'm at least not sick anymore. I'm just in a funk. Um, hoping I can catch up on some knitting today. I'm way behind on my Garter Marler. Way behind. I'm like two or three days behind, which is completely expected. And I should adjust my expectations and only plan to do like three quarters of an inch instead of an inch and a half every day because that would be more realistic. Um, here's my food. Okay, got my food. Um, <clears throat> Sonic is like the only time I use plastic straws and I feel bad about it every time. Every time I use a plastic straw, I like cut it up the side and then the little pieces to throw it away. Um, and like, it's an annoying thing to like feel bad about because like the problems with <laughs> environmentally friendly things and like, I don't know, it's stupid, but like pollution problems like that are from corporations, not from individuals. So like my straws aren't making a difference. Um, it's the corporations dumping oil into the oceans, but, <laughs> and other things, but I'm going to keep doing it. I keep cutting up my straws and I don't use paper towels and I do my part in a problem that's not my problem, but <laughs> it's dumb. That was random. Anyway, I got my Diet Coke and my mozzarella sticks. And I'm going to go back to the office and work. Ugh. Ugh. Y'all, Diet Coke is so good. So bad for me. I don't really care. <laughs> Talk to y'all soon. Hi friends, this is my coffee roaster. I'm gonna roast some coffee if you wanna see. Um, the coffee beans go in here. Our roaster is a Be More. Um, I don't know, my dad programmed it. <laughs> but I know how to do it after he did all the setup. We keep it all this cart with all of our coffee down here. So today I'm gonna do a Mexican bean <clears throat> and we found that this machine works best with three quarters of a pound or 12 ounces and this red solo cup is exactly that so that's my coffee that's the green coffee bean there and I'm gonna dump it in here I'll show you after it roasts too like as it roasts the coffee bean expands and like releases the liquid I wish you could like feel it because a, a green coffee bean like feels, it's not wet, but it's not dry, you know? Um, it just feels very different. So I fill this up with the coffee. And then... Okay, it's gonna roast. It's gonna roast for like 18 minutes and then I'll check. It's gonna like start crackling. I'll see if I have any way of showing you guys that as it does it. And then it'll have a um, 15 minute cooling cycle after that where it like cools down inside there. And this machine has features built in so it like doesn't smoke everywhere up in the office. 
Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'll show you more in a minute. <laughs> Okay, it's done. It's cooled. There's lots of this is called chaff. It's like the shell kind of, the like skin of the coffee bean. So I'm gonna take that outside and shake it off. Can you see it? I'm gonna go shake off that chaff then. Okay, it's done. So here we are. Got a container for it. This box is going to my dad um, for his house. So. So here, I'm gonna show you differently. So this is the green coffee bean. This is before roasting. And this is after roasting. I do a light roast. So roast it longer, it gets a little bigger. A little darker, of course. This one's fairly even. Some spots are a little darker. I'll usually pick through and pull out the ones that are like way different. Um, like these guys are too light to be in the mix. So there's usually, oh, missed it. Here's a good example though. Ah, oh, that was a big one. I was going to show you the difference. Okay. There. Before, after. Let's see if it'll, you get it, you know. Should we roast coffee um, every day, every other day in our office, me and my dad? And we use it in our espresso machine over there and drip coffee. We both use it at home and we pass it out um, for work gifts and stuff pretty often. There we are. Here's some of what we keep around. Um, both of these are Mexican. That's one of our favorites. Um, Costa Rica is my real favorite, but it's harder to get right now. So these are both just Mexico. What do we have down here? I think this is Timor. We've got some odds and ends of Guatemala. Oh, decaf. I need to roast some of this for my grandma. She asked for decaf. That's Colombia, Timor. Oh, and another decaf. Should I do? So the Ethiopian tastes like, hardly tastes like decaf, moderate body, caramelized fruit, brown sugar, dark chocolate, malt, hints of citrus, or this mocha java. That sounds good. Caramel sweetness, candied rinds, sugar cinnamon, black pepper, dark roast, substantial body. I think I'll do Ethiopia today. So I'm going to let the machine cool and clean it. I'll let that cool for like half an hour and then I'll do another batch. Hi friends. I posted an Instagram story, ignore my pimple, a little while ago um, and my shoes were in it and I've gotten so many messages asking about them. So I'm wearing my barefoot shoes and I just want to update you guys about them. Um, I, I've had them for two weeks tomorrow and I've worn them every single day. I one day wore my boots to work and by lunch I went home to change. They are so comfortable. Um, I know that is not everyone's experience with barefoot shoes. A lot of people, so barefoot shoe, if you're new around here, if you weren't, if you didn't watch a few days ago, two weeks ago, <laughs> um, <clears throat> a barefoot shoe doesn't have any arch support and doesn't have any cushion. So a very thin shoe, it's like very, 
bendable, very light, but so comfortable. Um, it has a wider toe box, so there's room for your toes to sit how they naturally sit and not be like squished on top of each other. Um, so I have been wearing them every day to work, around the house, running errands, walking my dog. Um, I'm not a runner. I know a lot of people um, have tried barefoot shoes for running and I know my dad and my brother do that. And I've heard that's a lot harder on your body. Running is harder on your body. Um, and that you tend to have more like calf pain, knee pain, things like that as you adjust and use different muscles. Um, my brother that introduced me to the barefoot shoes is having a harder time adjusting to them than I am. So his, when he started wearing them, he did have like some soreness and some discomfort and things like that. So very different by person to person, but I love them. Um, I, before these, typically wore... Um, like Birkenstocks, Chacos, or my Doc Martens, and that's pretty much it. Um, I've had a couple of pair of tennis shoes here and there, but I feel like I've never found a good fit, so I don't wear tennis shoes a lot because they just always felt wrong, um, which Birkenstocks and Chacos are a lot roomier of a shoe, and so are Doc Martens. They have a wider toe box, so my tennis shoes were cramping my toes, and then like I was getting discomfort and like tingling in my toes if I wore them for too long, so none of that for me anymore. I love them. But that's my update. I'll link these below again. They're the Witten brand on Amazon. Um, they only have men's sizing, but I just converted. So I'm usually a women's nine and a half. I got a men's seven. Um, and they say, like, if you're between sizes to size up with barefoot shoes, because you're looking for more space in your foot. Um, I also think they're really cute. So I love them. I want to buy every color and I probably will. They're only like 40 or 50 bucks a pair. I will be buying more. Um, but yeah, that's my barefoot shoe update. Mm -hmm.